Okay, here we go, reviewing the study guide. Uh, what is a natural resource? It is something that's found in nature that people can use. D. Um, what is a renewable natural resource? Remember, renewable means that it can be uh, remade. Not reused, remade. So a natural resource that can regrow or be replaced in a person's lifespan, uh, used up quickly and not replaced, never be replaced in a person's lifespan, can be recycled like paper glass. Uh, it's going to be A, can regrow or be replaced. Uh, remember, it's not reuse, it's remake, uh, renew. The kind of energy is produced from water flowing in rivers. We talked about this just only briefly. It's going to be hydroelectric. Hydro means water. Which of the following is not a renewable source of energy? Solar, petroleum, or hydroelectric? We just said hydroelectric is water. That's going to be renewable. Solar is the sun. It's going to be petroleum. Non-renewable resources are energy sources that will run out if we don't start conserving energy. That's going to be true. Which of the following is an example of a non-renewable resource? Wind. It's pretty windy all the time in Illinois. Water, we already said, definitely not. Vegetation, I mean, you can regrow vegetables, plants, uh, coal and minerals. Boom. Which of the following is a renewable resource? The opposite of this question above. And this one, we already said water is, plants are. If you weren't sure about soil, once you got two out of three, it's going to be all of the above. Which of the following is not a fossil fuel? Fossil fuels are the ones that um, come from, are made from fossils. We talked about natural gas and petroleum are both made from plants and animals breaking down. Coal is made from plants breaking down over time. So uranium is not a fossil fuel. Which of the following is a product? Water, solar energy, cell phone, or copper? Water, solar energy, and copper are natural resources. A cell phone is made from natural resources. Human population increases. Our demand for natural resources will increase. List as many natural resources as you can think of that make up each product. Example for the cell phone. Pencil we did in class. We did our uh, um, infographic on that. And so pencils have wood, carbon, that's uh, graphite, rubber, metal, clay, paint. Um, you have to actually break this down into specific parts of paint, so we'll go ahead and take that off of there. Your choice, that's going to be anything of your choice, um, so however you feel, that, fill that in. Read the following from Encyclopedia Britannica, adapted by New Zealand staff. Fossil fuels are used as a source of energy. This energy fuels our cars, heats our homes, and lights our schools. Burning petroleum and coal releases harmful gases into the air. These pollute the air and create acid rain. Burning fossil fuels emits or releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Over the years, this has increased the percentage of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Scientific evidence shows this increases temperatures. This warming of Earth's atmosphere is called the greenhouse effect. It contributes to climate change, which is a serious environmental concern. Okay, one natural resource that humans are using more of is, based on this here, fossil fuels. Okay, we're using more of this resource because and fuels our cars, heats our homes, lights our schools. So, need more energy. Last page. Explain how using more of this natural resource will affect one specific part of the environment. Um, so you had options here. You can talk about um, global warming, greenhouse gases. Um, so let's say global warming. Asthma. Um, pollution. 
and you can go more specific air, water, land. Um, so any of those three topics would be fine. There's a few others you also could use, but those are probably your key ones that are going to work best. This will be a CER grade on the test. It's going to give you some prompts, but it'll be graded using the CER rubric.